to your 2021 January love reading. Um, it's so weird to say 2021. I'm sure I'm going to totally jack it up for the entire read. So just keep that in mind. With that being said, let's just hop into your video and look, I'm actually early um, or the videos are on time. So whoop, whoop. anyways, let's just get into your reading. Okay. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Pisces? Oh, by the way, before I forget, there is an extended at the end of the reading. Cross watchers are welcome. Sometimes you got to flip it. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my website, aaftarot.com. Did I forget anything? Probably, but you guys can fill it in. All right. So what's the overall energy for love and romance for Pisces for January 2021? Yes, Pisces. Ew, look at that. Mm -hmm. Sensuality. I'm here for it. Yes. It's almost like the more expressive you are through like, like sexually or like, how do I explain it? How do, I don't know how to exactly to explain it, but it's like the more that you use your sexuality for some reason right now, it's like, it, like it makes you happy. It, it, it brings you to like some happy place. Like, I don't know if you guys are going to be getting it. Like, I'm not sure, but there's definitely something here where you guys feel very, very sexy going into January. All right. Who, um, what is their person of interest? What is their overall energy romantically towards their relationship with Pisces? Okay. Boundaries. And what is Pisces overall energy? What's Pisces overall energy when it comes to their relationship with this person? What is their energy towards their relationship? Pisces, what's Pisces relationship towards? Okay. Vision. What is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation for these two romantically? Ooh, action. I want to say this too, Pisces. I don't know if some of you guys sing or it's, it's like some of you guys are going to be on stage. Like you feel very good. Like I feel like January to keep it real with you. I feel like it's really good. And I think that 2020 really challenged who you were at a core level. And I feel like there is some type of cleanse and some type of rebirth that's coming for you guys next year. Okay. What's the best potential? Woo. What is this? Decisions reverse. Somebody's made some type of decision here. Mm. There's no longer decisions. There's a decision that's made. I love it. I'm here for it. I also feel like two Pisces for some of you guys, this month you will be getting recognized also for something that you've done. That's amazing. Um, all right, let's just hop into it. What's the overall energy for Pisces? For January. Okay, eight of wands. For some of you guys, you're definitely traveling. This is um, moon in Sag, or I'm sorry, Mercury in Sag. Um, there's something here where you're seeing somebody. There's something very physical. This is a very optimistic type of energy where there's communication that's going back and forth. For some of you guys, there's a lot of information. There's movement. You have a lot of really good things coming for you, um, especially when it comes to karma for some reason. That's coming in. Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries or Cancer. You feel good though. Like Pisces, like you feel attractive. You feel like you're in your element right now. Like there's something that you're doing where you feel very sexy. You, you feel like there's no longer confusion or, or, or like, I don't know. Like, I feel like your money is right. I feel like you know what you want, right? The queen of wands, that's Aries. Like Aries know what they want at all times, usually. Right. And maybe some of you guys are like an Aries Pisces cup, Pisces cusp or something. But I do see a lot of forward movement. Yes, yes, Pisces, look at this. Nine of Pentacles, your finances are going up. I know that we're talking about love and romance, but I mean, to keep it real, I feel like they're tied together. Like I feel like for you guys, Pisces, when you're doing well romantically, financially, you do well as well. Because your emotions are very connected with everything else. And I feel like because you feel good, you look good. And I feel like you're having that intimate connection with somebody. Your finances are picking up. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may be moving or traveling to see somebody. 
and somebody that you may be dealing with may be actually at a distance. Who is Pisces person of interest romantically? Or what's their energy towards their relationship with Pisces? Okay. I feel like your person, okay, four of cups, so moon and cancer, um, death. So we have Scorpio here or Aries, and then we also have Mars and Aries. I feel like your person is setting certain boundaries for you. It, it's this person's energy is like, this is what I want. Like they're drawing a circle around what they want when it comes to you and they're waiting for you to make it right. And I feel like this person has a little bit of like, um, I don't want to say that they're pouting, but it's just like, it's, there's something here that it's not enough. And I feel like with death and this two of wands, it's like, they want you to make some type of choice. Like you need to make a decision. What decision does their partner want them to make? What decision does their partner want Pisces to make? Something that you've been going back and forth on, Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn or a Cancer, Taurus or um, Virgo. And how would Pisces feel about this? You'd be nervous. You'd, you'd, you'd have anxiety, Pisces. You'd be like, shit, I don't know if I can do this. Why? Why would Pisces be nervous about this? You don't know how it's going to work out or how to take action on it. I feel like they want you, Pisces, to end some type of relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. So it can be um, somebody from your past that you've dealt with, okay? Or they want you to make a decision with whether or not you want some type of commitment with them. But for some of you guys, it's like they want you to leave that leave that situation alone. They're tired of that even being an option. And I feel like it makes you nervous because you don't exactly know how everything is going to work out. But here's the thing, Pisces. When it comes to this situation, it's already, it's already set in stone. Like... That's why you guys are awesome and you guys go with the flow, right? But I feel like with going with the flow here, there's something very significant about, like, you're just worried about how it works. But this person wants you to make a decision, like a very solid decision. Okay. Okay. But some of you don't want to be judged also. I don't know why. Okay. All right. So we have vision for your energy. What's Pisces energy towards this romantically? Toward, towards Pisces energy? Towards. Okay. Vision with the Page of Swords. I think that you... Right now, I think that you are using your imagination to really to really think about like what something could be like with somebody. Like what would it be like to actually be with them? What, if, what would it be like to actually um, move forward in some type of committed situation? And I think that you're curious. I also think that you're, you're doing some type of digging or some type of um, like you're looking for some type of information. Um, what is their energy? What's Pisces energy? towards them romantically. The four of wands though, what's Pisces energy towards their relationship? What's Pisces energy towards their relationship with this person? The ace of wands, like you, you want things to move forward. And I feel like for you, Pisces, like you're, you're having dreams of what this can be. You're having dreams of this person. You're really in your head imagining like what type of relationship you could have. And I'm going to be honest, it's a beautiful one. But I do feel like in January, you may be very quiet because you're in your head. You're, you're, you're really just thinking. And it's crazy because Six of Wands, there's something here that you're being recognized for, right? And I feel like it's because you're taking a chance on something. That's why you're being recognized, right? The Six of Wands, that's Jupiter and Leo. 
Jupiter and Leo, they get expansion. They get um, things move forward with them, right? For Jupiter and Leo, when they're confident, when they put themselves out there, when they take the lead when it comes to love. These are the things that uh, ultimately catapult things forward, right? So I feel like for you right now, because you feel good about your finances, about how you feel about yourself, you're more inclined right now to want to take a level of action in your relationship even more so now than prior. And again, as I say that, I forget your, um, your situation is an action. There's something here that has to be left behind. Okay. And I do think that there is some type of decision that needs to be made, some type of action. I feel like you're going to see somebody, somebody from the past may even come back around. Um, but I also feel like it's taking action for some of you guys. It's releasing an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra or a Leo, but hold on. What, what's, what, what is this action being taken on when it comes to their current situation romantically? Mm, Pisces, you're no longer waiting. Look, three of wands reverse. This is Aries, right? You're no longer like you've already had that foresight, right? You have the vision. You already know what you want from that person. And look, Pisces, here you are. The Knight of Cups. I feel like you're taking action on something that you want. What is it that they want for action? Ooh, yes, look at this. Boom. That is the Mac Daddy, okay? This is a King of Pentacles. Now we have both of them, right? Husband and wife, beautiful. You're taking action on what you want. If you want your man, you're going out there and getting him. If you want your woman, you're going out there and you're solidifying your position or your role in their life. There is some type of commitment here because there's some type of decision that's made. So if you want to know more about this, as well as what the hell did they decide, right? That's the action. So are they going to accept? Are they going to be the ones that offer it to you? Um, as well as how does your person feel about you romantically? What do they want long term with you? What are they hiding? I think that's one of my favorites, but that could be because I'm fucking nosy. Um, their next actions, advice, and the outcome. Please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below. It will take you straight to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended. With that being said, you beautiful Pisces, I love you guys and I hope you have a fantastic um, January. Peace.